Welcome to this quick demonstration of EMED Info. EMED Info is the product of many years' work between Professor Thompson and Professor Lawrenson and provides a unique source of information about the ocular adverse reactions of a very wide range of drugs and medications. On the left hand side of the screen, you can see a list of all the drugs uh, that are contained within EMED Info, and on the right hand side of the screen, you'll see a data sheet. So the first way that you can find the information you're looking for is simply to search through the alphabetically sorted list. And as you click on each of these drugs, it will give you the information about uh, that particular drug. You will see that some of the drugs are actually starred. And these are the drugs that form part of the optometrist formulary. And therefore, there is more information provided on those drugs. Now, that's a, a rather long list of drugs. So if you want to find a particular drug, the easiest way is just to type in the first few letters of the drug name. So if, for example, I type the letter T, it will filter the list just to show all those drugs beginning with the letter T. And if I type in a few more letters, you'll see that it uh, filters the list down. You can very rapidly find a drug you're looking for. Now, patients often don't know the full name of the drug that they're looking for, and they might come in saying uh, it's T something M, and you can search for a wild card by just putting a question mark. So that will show all the drugs that begin with T and the third letter is M with anything in between. So it's really very easy to narrow down the list to a specific set of drugs and find the drug that you're looking for. Now, if we just find one of those drugs, let's go back to uh, tamoxifen, there it is in the list there. You'll see on the data sheet, uh, it provides all the important information that you'll need. It's the legal category, this particular one is prescription only medicine, the drug type, the classification, the trade names for that drug, and what it's used for. And then there's a list of all the common ocular first reactions. And then there are some notes below that, which give some information about the severity of those ocular adverse reactions and their prevalence. The EMED info also provides quite a lot of information about general side effects, and those are listed underneath. So that's one way in which you can uh, search the database. You can also search by manufacturer. So if you want to see all the drugs that are produced by a particular uh, manufacturer, then you can just select the name there. Uh, like Alliance, and then it will show you all the drugs that are manufactured by Alliance. I delete that to show the complete list again. Uh, the final way in which you can reduce the list or filter the list is by category. So if you want to see all the prescription only drugs or the pharmacy drugs uh, or any of the other categories, then you can filter the list accordingly. The one I want to draw your attention to is formulary. And this will then just list all of the drugs which form part of the optometrist formulary. So these are all the drugs that uh, different classes of optometrists can actually use for supply. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, these drugs have a uh, enhanced data sheet, which gives more information uh, because they're going to be using them uh, or prescribing them. It provides more information about interactions, contra contraindications, and how the drug should be stored, and uh, any other notes that may be important on that respect. Now, the second way that you can search EMED info is by classification. And you'll see there are two major classifications. There's ophthalmic drugs and systemic drugs, and you can expand each of those groups. So if I wanted to find a, a drug which was used for the treatment of glaucoma, I just expand this group here, and there's the different ways in which you can treat uh, glaucoma. So if I go to prostaglandin analogs, and there's uh, Travaprost, and if I expand that, okay, uh, select Travatan, and there we are. I can drill down to a particular drug very quickly, and there's the information about Travaprost. You'll also see on the list here, there is a link to the manufacturer's website. So if you want to find uh, really up-to-date information about that drug, then you can go directly to the manufacturer's website. Let's just give you one more example here. Uh, if we want to find out about artificial tears and lubricants, 
Oh, there we are. There's the generic names. And if I expand that, it will give you the trade name. And there's the data sheet for that particular drug. And the same applies for systemic drugs. So if a patient comes in and says they're on a particular drug for their heart, you can expand cardiovascular, and then you might be interested in beta blockers. There's the generic names for the beta blockers. If we select tenolol, and there's the trade names for tenolol. And if we select that, there we are. There's the data sheet for a tenolol. You can collapse the whole thing very quickly by clicking on collapse. And you can search a um, alphabetically sorted list of categories for ophthalmic and systemic drugs at the top. Now, a new unique feature of EMED Info is the ability to search by reaction. So if a patient is complaining of a, a blurred vision that you find that they've got uh, refractive changes, unexpected refractive changes, and you think that might be related to a drug they're on, then you select refractive changes and myopia. And underneath, you'll have a list of the 90 drugs which have been uh, implicated in terms of producing myopia. And if you select those drugs, then it will give you the data sheet. Just to give you a couple more examples, if we look under ocular signs, now here are all the major structures of the eye. So if a patient has developed, say, corneal deposits, then we can look down the list. There's the cornea, there's corneal deposits, and there are the 49 drugs in the list which have been shown to produce corneal deposits. We collapse that list. And uh, just to show you, you can do exactly the same for general side effects. So if I go to cardiovascular, uh, here are a list of uh, cardiovascular pro problems. So if we want ECG abnormalities, there we are. There's 17 drugs which have been implicated in terms of producing ECG abnormalities. So that's a, a unique way of um, associating a drug with a side effect. There's a lot more information contained within EMED Info. Uh, if we click on the Resources tab here, go to Prescribing Resources, uh, there's a, a lot of data sheets and information contained under each of these sections. Uh, we've also got the Clinical Management Guidelines, which are published by the College of Optometrists, which gives detailed information about the management of eye conditions, which are commonly encountered in optometry practice. And the final group is websites. This is just a quick link to a range of websites. So if we want to go to the, the BNF website, then you can actually view that from within EMED Info. We've also got the professional bodies and the, the universities. Now, the problem with a drugs database is, of course, the information changes very rapidly. So it is very important that the information is kept up to date. And it's very easy to update the information from within EMED Info. All you need to do is go to Update and Live Update, and it will take you to the update page. And then it's simply a case of clicking on Download, and that will uh, download the latest database. Uh, plus some notes on any major changes that have occurred since the last update. So that's EMED Info, uh, a useful source of information for all eye care professionals. Thanks for listening. EMED Info is a unique, provides a unique source of information about a wide range of drugs, the ocular adverse reactions of a wide range of drugs.